everyone, today I'm going to be packing for a baby doll to go on vacation. I'm going to be setting up a baby nursery and I'm going to be cleaning up a twin baby doll nursery room. We have the different baby items, outfits, and bags next to the baby doll here. So let's start off by packing for the baby doll as if they were going on an overnight vacation stay. Most of the outfits we will be taking are in this drawer right over here. So let's go ahead and open that up and take all of the outfits out so we can pack them all away. Also, we need some comfy clothing for the baby too. So we have most of the comfy outfits right over here. There's some with little hoodies on the top and they're so fun, but I think I'm going to be picking this one right here. There's a really fun pink design. And then one in case it gets a little bit colder, this one has long sleeves and some really fun polka dots too. Let's take a look at the first bag here. This bag is perfect for the outfits. It seems like it stores quite a bit and there's also a pouch on the top in order to store the outfits away. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first outfit. We have this really fun little piece for her to wear. It's a bit more of a fancy outfit compared to some of the other pieces, but we'll place that right at the bottom and I love the bright green shirt and the floral design and it also comes with a small little hat too. Up next we have a swimsuit because there is a pool there of course. It's really bright and colorful and it has flowers again. We also have another hat, but this one is a little bit more of a sun hat and it matches her swimsuit as well. Let's take a look at the shoes that are a part of those sets. So we have the swim shoes. We'll place those in that compartment right at the top. And then we also have these really fun casual blue shoes that can go right at the other side. One item that I can't forget to pack away are of course her PJs and these ones are from American Girl. They're so cute. I love the three quarter length pants and there's some bright polka dots attached to that. And then here is the matching shirt. I love how these ones are giraffe design. They're very cute. And then there's also this piece that I grabbed out of the closet before. It's the one piece with polka dots and I love how it matches the PJs too. That's just something casual and warm as well, which I really like. So we'll go ahead and fold that so it does fit. And the last outfit I will be adding to this bag is this really casual outfit as well. It's great for traveling. So it comes with these leggings. They're a bright pink color and they're definitely very cozy. And it has this matching shirt. And what I love about this shirt is it matches the bag that we're bringing, which is great. And then let's go ahead and lift that up. There we go. There are some shoes. We'll go ahead and place that. They're very soft compared to the other ones, which are great. And then we also have a small little cozy hat as well, and I love the little knots on the top. And the last two items we need to place down are her slippers. They're giraffe theme, which I love because it goes great with the PJs. And then we also have a blanket in case if it does get a little bit cold. We'll place that on the top so it's really easy to reach for when we need it. It's a pink color and it has the classic Bitty Baby logo. We'll go ahead and fold that, and everything is all packed in this bag. So let me go ahead and grab the next bag. This bag is for the baby's toiletries, so most of the toys and other pieces will go in the purse. But first off, we have this changing accessory. We can go ahead and open it up, and there's two different designs, which are a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and close that and add it to the bag. That can go right at the back there. Up next, there are some diapers. We definitely have to bring those. We've got two, and they're cloth, so you can definitely wash them. We'll place those right in front. And then we also have a spare outfit. I didn't pack this outfit in the main bag because it's always great to bring a spare outfit in the changing bag. So let me go ahead and add that one. And it's just a really fun casual outfit for the baby to wear. We also have some cloths and it comes in this purple container. And then there's also some of the basic items like lotion. And then there's also some diaper cream and a little towel just in case. And then the last item we need to add in here is of course bath wash. And I'm pretty sure this bag is complete. We might need to add a couple of extra items later on. Let's go ahead and pack the last bag, which is the purse right here. It has all of her essentials like food and toys and her pacifier too. So the first item we're packing away is her pacifier. It's a little pink pacifier, which is definitely an essential a baby needs. And then up next, there's a bib. You can see it has the Bitty Baby logo in the middle, and that's perfect in case if she decides to eat. And we'll definitely have to bring that in the purse so it's easy to reach when we need it. 
Up next, there's the yogurt. Comment down below your favorite flavor of yogurt. I think mine would have to be strawberry. It seems like it's fruit flavored, this one right here. Let's add that to the bag. Hopefully everything fits. I'm pretty sure it will. And the last two pieces are both really fun toys. They are rattles, but they're both very different. So I decided to pack both. First off, there is a flower shaped rattle and it is so adorable. I love how there's an attachment so the baby can hold onto it. And this one is really different to the flower. You can see it is more of a plush and I love how it's shaped as a bear. It still is a rattle because of the accessories at the bottom, but I feel like this would be a little bit more of a toy than the main piece, which is of course just a rattle. So let me go ahead and close the bag. And I think the purse is all packed. As you can see, all of the bags are packed and ready to go. We have the clothing and outfit pieces in this main compartment. And then right at the back is her essentials like toiletries and right at the front is her purse with the food and toys. I did forget one item which is of course her baby bottle and it says ABC on the front. It is so cute and I love the pastel colors. So as you can see my baby doll is all ready to go on an overnight stay. Hey guys, today I'm going to be cleaning up my twin baby doll room. As you can see, a lot of their items like their outfits and accessories are placed all over the floor everywhere. Some items are on shelves and beds and cupboards, so I'm going to have to reorganize everything so their room is nice and clean. The first set of items we're going to be organizing are some accessories at the front here. None of these items belong in this room, so I'm going to have to move them out of the way. First off, we have two food plates that can be stacked and moved away, and also a small little toilet seat. And there are also quite a few bottles and jars here. They're such lovely colors. There's some pink, purple, and blue ones, but obviously they don't belong in the room, so I'll just go ahead and take them out of the way. And in order to organize the outfits, let's go ahead and take these diapers out of the way. There's five of them here, and they're all really fun, but we'll just place them all together so we can move them out of the way. 
I have found a couple more diapers in the room and these will definitely need to be moved so we can place the outfits again. There's quite a few in this pile and then we also have a few more. We also have a couple of shoes that can be placed there instead. There's some really fun unicorn ones which I absolutely love. And these ones are cute little bunny rabbit shoes. There are quite a few outfits here and they're all placed in one pile. They're all so lovely and what I really like about them is that they're already on hangers so it'll be really easy to organize again. I'm pretty sure there are a total of five outfits. That's the perfect amount of outfits for my dolls and this outfit will be perfect for winter time or in case it gets a little bit colder too. Comment down below and let me know which outfit you like better. We have this one that has some really cute elephants on the front, or else we have this one and there's some cute little bunny rabbit ears on the top. Let's go ahead and place the outfits back in the wardrobe where they belong, and they are so lovely. I love the pink and purple theme between all the outfits. Let's go ahead and place the final two outfits there so we can start to organize the accessories that are on the floor. These small containers are perfect to place some of the smaller accessories I don't want to lose or to keep in one place. It has such a lovely floral design on the front. Let's place some of the bath products inside. So first off, we have some bath wash that can go right in there. There's also a bottle of lotion right here and there should be enough room in the box to be placed right next to it. And in front of those pieces, there's a bar of soap that says Bitty Baby on the front. And right next to that, there's a small little pink hand towel. And finally, we have this really cool cloth that's shaped as a flower. It came a part of the set and hopefully fits in the box. And now that this box is all organized, it's time to go ahead and move it out of the way. Both the twins' bags are quite untidy, so let's go ahead and fix them up. So first off, we'll be cleaning up the unicorn bag. There's this lovely little toy. There's so many cute stars on it, a bottle, and also a pacifier. So let's go ahead and place all of those pieces back in the bag. Both of these bags are definitely so adorable. Comment down below if you like unicorns or pandas better. So let's go ahead and clean up the panda bag. First off, we have a spoon. We also have a bowl inside of here. Hopefully everything fits. And a pacifier that's on the floor. And now that we placed all of those items back in the bags, it looks like this part of the room is getting a little bit cleaner. The next area we'll be cleaning up is the doll cabinet that is in the twins' bedroom. So it looks like some food has been left there. Let's go ahead and place these items back in the kitchen because they don't belong in the doll's room. There's a little food bowl here and also a spoon as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move those out of the way. This bottle is just for decoration, so this will be staying on the cabinet. It's so cool because the milk moves up and down depending on how you move the bottle. And this fun little teddy will of course stay up here. We have a couple of blocks that have fallen over to the ground, so I'm just picking those up and stacking them up. This storage box is really cool. It has blue and white polka dots on it instead of flowers like the other one. We have a couple of smaller items to be placed here like a bottle, a bib with a fun cupcake on it, and also some really cute pink slippers and I love how there's little bows on the front. And let's go ahead and move the box out of the way. These two bottles over here are for decor. They're so lovely. So this one is yellow and there are some safety pins inside and they're all different colors. And then over here we have some pacifiers, but they're really cool because they're clear. But you can see they're all different colors as well. So let's go ahead and place those items down. So first off, we have to place the books back up. They're all Paddington books and they're perfect for the babies. They're so cute. And then we'll place one of those bottles that I showed earlier on and that can hold the books up. Let's stand up the tissue box. And then we also have the purple bottle that can go right next to that. And the last item that needs to be added to the top row is the box that we just organized with the blue and white polka dots. This box right here will be perfect for organizing some of the baby's toys. So first off, we have this one. There's a cute little bear and there's also a flower. There's so many lovely shapes. And this one's very similar, but it's just different coloring. There's some pinks and greens and blues. There's also a pacifier that's pink that can go right on top. And that box is completed. It has such a cute flower design as well. As you can see, the blocks in the middle have fallen over, so let's go ahead and move them all out so we're able to stack them again. There's two lovely blue ones and a pink one that can go right in the middle. There's some extra space on either side of the cube, so let's go ahead and place the boxes we've already organized. So this one right here has all of the bath products, and they're both going to have the flower design so they match. This one's the pink flower box, while this one over here is the yellow flower box filled with the toys. 
And as for this box right here, we'll just be placing a couple of extra items. So first off, we have some bibs. There will be two of them. This one is a lovely pink color, and I love how they both have floral designs on them as well. While this one is blue, over here we have some brushes. They're both blue. They're exactly the same. And this box is completed, so let's go ahead and move it out of the way. Let's go ahead and clean up some of these items. So first off, there are a couple of food jars in the corner here. We have blueberry flavored and strawberry flavored, and I'm going to be stacking them on top of each other just so it looks a little bit cleaner. And let's move the toy so it's facing in front. And once I finish with the final touches, it seems like the cabinet is completed and it's clean. Let's go ahead and move on to the next set of items. And here we have the three toys I'll be placing back in that compartment. So first off, we have the blue stingray. It's so lovely, and the seal is definitely very adorable. And finally, a green sea turtle. And while we're here, let's go ahead and organize some of the clothing pieces. So first off, we have some bibs. There are a total of six. We also have some lovely little hats. They're so cute. There's little polka dots on them and also some matching pants right next to those. And since all six items will be placed together, I'm going to go ahead and stack the pants on top of the hat. Earlier on, I placed all of the bibs together in one pile and I'm going to fix them up and organize them in sizing. So we have this really cute bear and unicorn one. They're so cute, we're going to go ahead and move those out of the way. And these two are a little bit smaller. There's a panda bear one and a unicorn one. Finally, the last two match. There is an owl bib and an elephant one and they're both so lovely. So let's go ahead and move them out of the way. I'll have to organize and clean up these two decor items on top of the wardrobe. So first off, we have a lovely little unicorn. I love this, it's so cute and it's perfect for a baby room. We also have another unicorn light that I need to turn on. And it seems like the doll's beds are quite untidy as well, filled with items that need to be put away. So first off, we have these doll PJs that I'll put back in the wardrobe. They're definitely very cute, but they don't belong there. And I'll just stand up the plush that just fell over. And as for the other toys on the bed, they can just be placed on the rug. They're so lovely, and they match her bedding too. And as for this bed, it seems like it's a little bit more disorganized than the other one, but that's okay. So the first thing we're going to be picking up are the diapers, and we'll just place those next to the other ones I organized right at the start of the video. And as for this unicorn plush, it is so adorable. It's meant to be placed on the egg chair, and I'll go ahead and take that away, and I'll move it later on. We also have some hats that don't seem like they belong here either. So let's go ahead and pick those up and move them out of the way. There are a total of three and they're all so lovely and they look adorable on the babies, but they definitely don't belong on the bed. And as for these three items, we have the bottle which can go right at the side and also some more toys that can also be included on the rug too. As you can see, one of the twins are sitting in the egg chair, so I'll go ahead and give her the unicorn plush. Here is an overview of what the room looks like, and everything is so organized. I'm so happy with how it turned out, and the twins look really happy to be in their room. 